Hey everyone, it's Aaron Schechter from 365shaves.com coming to you today to do probably the most reviews I've done in a single day pretty much ever. Um, a lot of ground to cover so I'm going to make it pretty short and sweet and to the point on each of these videos. This first video is going to be about none other than Ginger's Garden from Miss Irina and I'm going to mess her last name up. I believe it's pronounced Marachu. Um, I have been meaning to do reviews on her products for quite some time. I've been testing um, her products. Uh, I've been using her aftershaves, some soaps, as well as um, beard oil. Hmm, whatever happened there? That kind of went by the wayside, but I do still use it in my mustache, which if you notice, I'm actually wearing not my traditional handlebar, but an English style mustache today. So, that all being said, I'm going to be focusing mostly on introducing you to Irina, number one, first, because I think that is a very important part of Ginger's Garden, number one. Number two, I'm going to really quickly talk about her aftershave specifically. I'll make other videos about her soaps and the beard oil at a different time. So, let's talk about number one, Irina, okay? Irina herself, okay? Um, I have a little bit of notes here because of the fact that there's a lot to take in. Um, Irina actually had, has immigrated to the United States. She's not born in the United States. She's originally from the Czech Republic. And she immigrated here in 1969. I have the utmost respect for that because in my own family, my brother-in-law's brother's wife is also from Czech. And it is not an easy thing even now in the 2000s when my brother-in-law's brother's wife came to America, it is not an easy thing to come from the Czech Republic to the United States of America. Um, so I can only imagine what Irina had to do to come to the land of opportunity as we in the world call it. And back in 1969 when she immigrated, I'm sure it was even more so looked at in that light than it is even today. So that being said, Irina immigrated to the United States in 1969. Though she was taught how to make soap and fragrances and everything in the traditional way from a little child, from her mother, her grandmother, and always was supervised and brought up very traditionally as a family um, type of tradition. And in European families, it, it, that's a very common thing to be taught the old ways of doing things and to pass on those traditions because they were important and they still are important to do. That being said, um, she was really brought up old school, old school so soap making. But then when she immigrated in 1969 to the United States, she became, and I'm going to read down the list here because she has a lot going on for her here. Over time, she became a certified um, aromatherapist. She's an esthetician, a licensed massage therapist, and a holistic health practitioner. That's a whole lot of things, okay? And they all tie into making the best possible products possible for you, okay? Now, that I got that all out of the way, let's talk a little bit about Ginger's Garden, okay? And let's talk about what Ginger's Garden's mission statement is. Now, her mission statement is basically that she is an environmentally friendly company that looks at the impact of her products on the environment and strives to make products that are not only top-notch quality products for her customers, but also have the least impact on the environment as possible. So here we have a lady that has come to the United States and has a great respect for number one, traditional medicines, traditional ways of healing, traditional ways of doing things. She also believes very strongly she's an aromatherapist, which right there, that tells you she has a very good nose and she knows how to use scents in order to um, relax you, to set a mood, so to speak. She's your go-to person for if you want to set, you know, a certain um, either relaxation, energy, um, calming, grounding, whatever it may be she knows how to do it. She's a certified aromatherapist, okay? So, all that said, that's Ginger's Garden, www.gingersgarden.com. She has way more than shaving gear on there. 
um, everything from hand soaps to oils to kits to you name it just go there it's an amazing website okay now let's talk specifically about the aftershaves okay because I'm getting long-winded at this point so let's get down to it I own two of her aftershaves I have British Empire and I have Dragon's Blood okay so let's talk about each of them really quick British Empire is a very citrus forward scent okay um, it is basically um, how can I describe it a very clean citrusy scent with um, light sandalwood type of uh, of a backbone but a very clean sandalwood not a very woodsy scent a very clean scent okay um, it is very floral I could pick up on notes of jasmine so I would call this a citrus floral with a light clean sandalwood uh, type of a scent it's very um, it's got a bit of sweetness to it as well okay um, it's a very basic ingredients and the first time I used and by the way this holds true to both of these um, they contain aloe vera they contain glycerin um, they contain witch hazel um, they contain uh, FDA approved alcohol which is not uh, like uh, rubbing alcohol so it's not going to dry you out um, and it contains essential oils or fragrance oils and um, uh, benzophenone too which um, don't be afraid by that last word it's actually a, a relatively natural product that holds scents as well as adds residual sweetness to things so when you first use a ginger's garden aftershave it's actually a little bit thicker than a standard aftershave it because of that aloe vera and glycerin um, it has hydro hygroscopic properties to draw moisture into your skin as well as aero, aloe vera gel in order to calm the skin okay now second let's talk really quick about dragon's blood because I am running out of time here so dragon's blood now this is a very awesome scent um, I believe that this might have been influenced by the incense uh, from the 60s and 70s also known as dragon's blood um, you get a very strong patchouli incense I would call this in the fragrance world an amber it's very sensual very deep very dark woodsy um, very, uh, how can I put it, earthy. Earthy is a great word to use. Earthy scent. It is a very earthy scent, very incense, and very aromatic. Um, both of these scents will last you a phenomenal amount of time. I, I mean, I put it on at 7 o'clock in the morning, and I'm smelling it at midnight. And I can still smell either one of these fragrances. So the holding power and the staying power is phenomenal with Ginger's Garden's aftershaves. The face feel, phenomenal. You do not need a bomb. The aloe vera and the, um, the glycerin that's in it covers you, okay? You don't even need a bomb after you use this, okay? Um, summer or winter, you're set. You, you're good to go. Um, like I said, I have a very high respect for Irina. I've talked to her many times on Facebook. Uh, her products are excellent when you go and look at the aftershaves you are going to your draw is probably going to hit the floor because of the amount of scents she has available to you it's amazing and she's been in business by the way since not she's been in business since 1991 making all these great products so she has years and years of experience under her belt making these products i would highly recommend you go check out www.gingersgarden.com take a look at all of her offerings it is it far exceeds just wet shaving products and uh, i'm honestly very very impressed by the two aftershaves i've tried they are very very luxury based aftershaves let me just put it to you that way scents are spot on face feel is wonderful 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 face feel and i just really really enjoy using her her products so check her out gingersgarden.com I'm Aaron from the wet shaver review and 365 shaves.com thanks for watching the video God bless and I will see you all soon bye bye